separate video for this flower but I will also explain how to make it uh, in this video you see like this there are laces at the ends you can adjust the length of the headband according to the uh, head size okay let's go on how to make it meanwhile please remember to subscribe my youtube channel activate the info ring in order to be informed about my further videos primarily and if you like this video please leave right remarks and make comments thank you let's go on making for this project we need two different colors of yarn i'm using these yarns my yarns are like this these are acrylic and double you can also use standard cotton yarn or standard uh, acrylic yarn uh, it is not a must to use uh, this kind of double i have a lot of this kind of double uh, yarn uh, so i'm using them and uh, need a yarn needle and a, a hook two millimeters but if you are going to use a cotton yarn standard you can also use two and a half millimeters of hook it is not so matter and uh, a scissors okay let's go on making we are starting making the band firstly later on when we finish the band uh, we will make the flower we are starting by making slip knot first i'm making slip knot like this and one chain Now we made the slip knot and one chain and I'm making five more chains one, two, three, four, five and inserting my hook in the first chain yarn over, pull through one chain to fix it now we have a circle like this now we will make long loops first of all we are making five chain one two three four five yarn over inserting my hook this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six one two three times yarn over and again inserting my hook in the same circle yarn over pull through and two by two I will make pull through. You see, I made one one time, and you see this second time I made yarn over a uh, pull through, and the third time. Now yarn over, I will pull them all through in one time, and making one chain to fix it now i am making five chains one two three four five yarn over you see a kind of circle here and in the circle we are making six times of uh, loop this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six and one two three times yarn over i made and inserting my hook in the same circle 
pardon, yarn over pull through and again two by two we will make pull through you see this you see making pull through making another pull through and making third times pull through yarn over and I'm making pull through them all and one chain to fix the second puffy stitch now again I'm making five chains one two three four five yarn over I'm getting separated this circle from the puffy stitch again like this and I will make pull through six times with long loop one two three four five six one two three times yarn over inserting our hook in the same circle again yarn over pull through and we will make pull through two by two you see there are two uh, on my hook one time pull through two times pull through three times pull through yarn over I will make them all pull through in one time and one chain to fix it again making five chains one two three four five Dear friends, actually uh, always repeating each other like this, uh, there is nothing uh, about this. We are making this main puffy stitches in the middle, you see. So uh, always repeating one after another, one after another, uh, till we finish, uh, till we come to the end of the uh, size uh, we need to make. Uh, you can uh, measure the size uh, you you want to make for for example if you are going to make this for your uh, daughter six years old you will uh, measure the head size and you will make the length of this according to the head size I uh, measured uh, this headband according to my daughter she's 12 years old so it's a bit long uh, but if you are going to make it for example two years old three years old seven years old child of course your uh, headband will be uh, a little uh, shorter than mine. So just measure uh, the head size and uh, make the length according to the head size you are going to make for. Uh, once again, let's go on uh, uh, for the last time. I made five chains, yarn over. We are separating this. We are separating this one from the puffy stitch and we are making pull through six times. The loop will be long. One, two, three, four, five, six. And three times yarn over. I'm making one, two, three, inserting my hook in the same circle yarn over pull through and two by two I'm going to make a pull through this is one time pull through this is second time pull through as you see two by two I'm making it this is third time pull through now yarn over and I will make pull through them all together in one time and one chain to fix it and I'm making five chains again and repeating uh, always the same it's going on like this uh, okay, dear friends, uh, make this uh, length according to the size uh, you need to make and let's come to the end. Dear friends, when crocheting uh, this band, uh, it can be curved inside it like this. It is not a matter. You can just pull it like this. You see, it's being neatly. And for example, if uh, five chain is too much for the size, you, you can decrease it. Uh, like four chains according to the thickness uh, of your 
rope it is not a matter as I told you when it is curved like this just pull it like this and it's being neatly dear friends I finished crocheting the middle part of the band here let me measure it for you yes um, about 40 49 centimeters mine is 49 centimeters yours can be changed according to the size of the head uh, you want to make for okay uh, we finished this one and we are going to make the borders for this reason what are we doing now uh, we are at the top I am making one chain and coming to here I am making a slip stitch okay now I am in the at this side I am making five chain one two three four five I am going to the following chain you see this is a space and there is another space beside it inserting my hook there yarn over pull through making a slip stitch there it is finished now I am making another five chain one two three four five you see there is another hole beside it I'm inserting my hook there yarn over pull through and making a slip stitch now I am making five chains one two three four five going to the following here inserting my hook yarn over pull through making a slip stitch one two three four five going to the following yarn over pull through making a slip stitch always uh, it's going on like this till the end till the end okay dear friends make the side like this by making five chains and come to the end like this for a last time let's do it together what are we doing one two three four five chains we are making and we are going to the following space inserting our hook there yarn over pull through and we are making just a slip stitch it's finishing making another one two three four five chains and going on like this okay like this make and come to the end I came to the end of this side making five chains I'm now at the end now I will come here at top what am I doing I'm making five chains again one two three four five yarn over you see there is a space here I'm inserting my hook there I will make double crochet yes I made double crochet now I am making five chains one two three four five yarn over I'm inserting my hook in the same space and making another double crochet it's been like this and making one two three four five chains and now going to this side the other side what am I doing the following there is this space now I am here and you see the following space here inserting my hook there and making it a single stitch okay now we are at this side we will repeat the same thing making five chains one two three four five and you see the following space inserting my hook there 
yarn over pull through and making a slip stitch one two three four five coming to the following space and making a slip stitch there as well and now one two three four five coming to the following space and inserting my hook there and making a slip stitch there it's been like this you see see like this we will do the same till the end of this side as well uh, make the same as I told you as I explained to you and come to the end I came to the end now I am making five chains I'm here I will come here now for this reason making five chains first one two three four five yarn over inserting my hook at top here I will make a, a double crochet here making five chains one two three four five and I will insert my hook in the same space and make another double crochet it's been like this now I finished I have already made this side I am inserting my hook in the following space but just doing slip stitch making one chain to fix it and I'm cutting the rope okay now I am in the front side of my uh, band I will make uh, these last ends I fixed it like this now what am I going to do this space in this space first of all I will make three single crochet this is one this is two this is three meanwhile I am keeping this rope on this uh, here uh, in order to make it high uh, making three chains one two three here inserting my hook like this and in the same space making two more single crochet this is one this is two I am finished with this space now I am going to the following space making three single crochet first this is one this is two this is three and now making three chains one two three inserting my hook like this yarn over pull through yarn over pull through like this and in the same space making two more single crochet like this coming to the following first of all making three single crochet one two three making three chains one two three inserting my hook at top like this and in the same space making two more single crochet now I am going to the following making three single crochet first one two three making one two three chain inserting my hook at top like this yarn over pull through and making single crochet and making two more single crochet in the same space and going on like this 
Okay, dear friends, uh, in the same method, in the same technique, we are doing all the same. Come here in this technique. Let's meet at the end. I finished this side, as you see. I came to the top. Now, actually, I will do the same thing. I will go on doing the same thing. I came to the end now I will insert my hook here and making a slip stitch making one chain to fix it and cutting the rope dear friends yes we have finished it Now we are going to make the laces. You can actually connect these two parts by sewing and you can use like this as well. But I like making laces. Meanwhile, you don't have to uh, make flower on this. You can also use this headband like this. This is also beautiful as a headband. That's completely depends on uh, your request, what you like. But I will make flowers. For the young girls, flower, flowery headbands are beautiful. I like it. Now let's go on making the uh, lace. For this reason, I'm coming to this end. You see this area. I'm fixing the rope there. I'm tidying it in order to fix it tightly. Two times I'm tidying. I'm inserting my hook in the same space, making a loop, making one chain. Now I will make a 35 chains but, but don't make the chains uh, too tight make the chains a bit loose in order because um, we are going to make a single uh, stitch single crochet on it if you make it too tight it can be difficult for you to make uh, single stitches on the chains okay let's go on 35 chains <laughs> following a uh, chain and making a single stitch from now on always one by one we are going to make uh, single stitches on the chain that's all what we are going to do from now on yes you see I'm making single stitches one by one inserting my hook in the following chain hole You see, like this. Okay, dear friends, come here, making single stitches on the chains, uh, one by one on each chain hole, and we are going to finish the lace. I finished the lace. I made single stitches on the uh, chains. Now I am at the end. I'm inserting my hook in the following stage, like this, making a slip stitch, making one chain and finishing the lace by cutting the rope later on i will hide these uh, by using uh, our hook dear friends we are going to do the same thing at the other edge all this same you see here at top i'm fixing my rope there actually i am doing the same what we did uh, at the other edge I'm tidying it two times. I'm making a loop and making 35 chains. I made 35 chains 
and I'm going to make single stitches on these uh, chains. That's all what we need to make. One by one, inserting my hook on the chains, I'm just making single stitch. That's all. Like this. I'm going to the following chain hole, making another single stitch. We are going like this, dear friends. Make single stitches on the chains till the end and the bandana is headband is finishing. Yes, I finished the lace. I am at the end. I'm inserting my hook in the following stitch and making a slip stitch there, making one chain to fix it. Just cutting the rope. Okay, our bandana is finished. As I told you, you don't have to make the uh, flowers if you don't like it if you don't want it you can also use the bandana like this this is also so nice uh, now I will hide these uh, remaining ropes by the help of my hook in my previous videos I told you how to make this I'm doing this uh, by hiding the remaining ropes uh, between the stitches. I'm doing it uh, as if I'm crocheting. That's all. A few times I'm doing this. Later on I'm cutting the remaining rope. I'm going to make the others like this and I will hide this. I cleaned the ropes at the sides. They are like this. Yes, it is. It's been like this. The bandana is finished. Okay, let's go on uh, explaining how to make the flowers. Dear friends, after finishing the band, uh, headband, uh, now it is time to make the flower. First of all, we will make this big uh, white flower. Later on, the colorful and then this one in the center first of all we are making eight chains after making eight chains i'm inserting my hook in the first chain and making a circle i am making three chains one two three we are going to make double crochets inserting my hook in the circle like this we made one circle we made one space we are always making two chains and making double crochet making two chain one two yarn over and making double crochet one two three space we made dear friends like this totally we are going to make 12 space but the 12th space um, will be uh, adding a uh, uh, the first chain. I mean, let's make 11 space. I'm going to tell you how we are going to make the last 11th space. One, two, three, and you are going to make till you find uh, 11 space. Yes, dear friends, I made 11 spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We need totally 12 space. I'm making two chains and I'm inserting my hook at top of the first double crochet like this you see I'm inserting my hook there like this now 
we have 12 space because uh, we made this one. Dear friends, after finishing the first row, what we are doing, I'm inserting my hook in the first following space and making a slip stitch. Now we will make this big uh, puffy petal. We need a long loop. Ten times I will insert this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And then I'm going to the following space and inserting my hook 10 times there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, ten. Yarn over. I'm keeping this, keeping also this one. Like this. You see, we made the first puffy petal of our flower. Now uh, I'm going to fix this. For this reason, I need some chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Since my rope is thin, I'm making uh, ten chains. But if your uh, rope is thick, you can make uh, less. Uh, you can make less chains. I'm turning. I turn this back, and you see here. I am inserting my hook in this double crochet in the center of the puffy stitch and I am fixing this with single stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we are ready to make the second petal. We are going to make the same. Ten times I will insert my hook here and 10 times here and then I will pull them all through and going to make the second puffy uh, flower petal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going to the following, I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now yarn over, keeping this, holding also this puffy stitch like this. Yes, making ten chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turning back inserting my hook you know here there is a double crochet here i'm inserting my hook in the center of this double crochet so i am fixing the puffy petal 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we are ready to make the third puffy petal. You see? Dear friends, like this one, two, three, four, five, six. Totally, we are going to make six pieces of petals for this flower. Uh, we made two together. Uh, I explained to you how to make it. Let's make four more and let's meet at the end. I finished six petals on my flower. Now I am making ten chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turning back and inserting my hook in the double crochet at the back making one chain and cutting the rope you see it is finished now it is time to make the colorful puppy flower for this reason I'm going to use my uh, green color. First of all, we are making six chains. I'm making a slip knot now and making one chain, pulling it down. Like this, I made slip knot and also chain one. Two, three, four, five, six. I made totally six chains, inserting my hook in the first chain and making a small making a little circle. Now I am making three chains. One, two, three. Uh, and we are going to make the same actually. We are going to make space spaces. Uh, there will be totally 12 spaces. First of all, we are making 11 space as we did uh, at the big uh, puffy. This is uh, space one. Between the spaces, we are making one chain, not two chains. You know, in the big puffy flower, uh, we made two chains between the spaces, but this is the smaller puffy uh, flower and we are making one chain between the spaces and making double crochet, making one chain, making double crochet. How many we did? One, two, three, four. Uh, we are going to make totally 11 and the 12th uh, space, uh, we are going to make the same as we did at the big puppy. Let's make totally 11. I made 11 spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, I am making one chain, inserting my hook at top, yarn over, pull through, and making a slip stitch here. And this is the 12th uh, space. And now totally we made uh, 12 spaces. What am I doing? I'm inserting my hook in the following space. This is my first space making a slip knot, making one chain, and now I am ready to make the puffy petals. I am making a long loop, but not so long, because this will be smaller. Like this, it is enough. Three times I am inserting my hook in the space. One, two, three. Yarn over, going to the following space, and inserting three times in that space as well. One, two, three. Yarn over, keeping this, keeping also this one, like this. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And making five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Turning back. You see, there is a double crochet here in the center of the puffy petal. 
I'm inserting my hook there and yarn over pull through. Now I am making five chains one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I fix this by inserting uh, our hook in the center of this double crochet in the back and Later on I made five chains and now I am ready for the second puffy petal. What am I doing? I am going to the following space, you know, this space and this space we used for the first petal. Now uh, I'm going to use third petal and fourth petal for the third uh, space and fourth space for the second petal. Inserting my hook three times in the following space. This is one, this is two, this is three, yarn over, going to the following. This is one, this is two, this is three. Now inserting my hook like this, like this. Five chains, one, two, three, four, five, turning back, you know, this is the center, double crochet in the center, inserting my hook there, like this. Now I fixed the, the second petal at the back. Uh, I will make five chains, one, two, three, four, five, and now I am ready to make the uh, third petal. What am I gonna do? I'm going to insert my hook in the in these two spaces following, three times here, three times here. Actually, we will repeat the same. And totally, we are going to make six petals like this. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make six petals and meet at the end. I finished six petals. As you see, it's been very beautiful. I'm making one, two, three, four, five chain, turning back, you see here, inserting my hook in the double crochet here. slip stitch, making one chain and cutting the rope. It is finished as well. What we are going to do, we are going to assemble like this. We are going to sew it up like this. For this reason, we need our yarn needle. I insert uh, the rope in the hole of the needle I made a slip knot here. Okay, now I am ready to sew it up. Now I am fixing it at the back. Once again I am doing this in order to fix it better. Okay, it's been very lovely. Now the turn is to make the puffy in the center. For this reason I am taking my white rope. Actually, uh, this rope is not so white as this. I'm finished with the white rope. This is a bit cream, but it uh, matches with this green color. No problem. Uh, for the puffy in the center, we need uh, some rope in the end. So first of all, I am leaving some rope, 20 centimeters, 15 centimeters. It is enough. It's completely enough. Now, I will make three chains after leaving this at the end. Like this. 
This is chain one. Chain two uh, should be a bit loose because we will make the puffy in this uh, second uh, chain. Now making three chains. First chain and the third chain can be a bit tight, but the second chain uh, should be loose. What am I doing? I am inserting my hook in the second chain and making a, a single crochet there, making one chain and starting uh, making the puffy. Six times I am inserting my hook. What am I gonna do? I'm going to fix it in the center of the flower. For this reason, uh, I need yarn needle. I insert my white rope in the needle, inserting my hook like this. I will do the same thing. For the for this one as well I'm inserting my needle here okay now pulling the row back okay you know like this it's really been beautiful what am I gonna do? I will tie it at the back a few times in order to fix it. One, two, three times I tied it up. Now I am cutting this. We have a beautiful flower. What am I gonna do? The last thing to do. Uh, first of all, we are uh, deciding where we are going to sew up, where we are going to um, assemble, fix the flower. I will do it like this. I'm measuring like this. Um, okay. I will fix it here. The only thing now to do is uh, just... primarily and if you like this video please leave like remarks and make comments let's meet in the further videos take care of yourself see you soon